Welcome to BTEC guys, David here with more from the Xperia 1. This phone is growing on me more and more each day. After using the Xperia 10s, it did leave me a little bit undecided on whether or not I actually do like that screen aspect. But now that I have the Xperia 1, I've made up my mind. I actually love the screen aspect. This 4K HDR screen is great for watching movies, but this is more than just a device for consuming cinematic content. It's also one for creating it. As someone who shoots a lot of video, you can probably imagine that I've been waiting for this phone. Finally, we have a device where they're taking shooting video very seriously. And this video is a quick guide to the Cinema Pro mode that you get with the Xperia 1. I want to say a big thank you to Vodafone for helping me out with this video. You'll find links to get the Xperia 1 on Vodafone in the description below. You can also compare all of the available deals with all the UK networks on the Direct Mobile's website. Whatever you're looking for, if it's available in the UK, you will probably find it there. Plus, they have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, so you really are in good hands. Check in the video description below for a link or search directmobiles.co.uk. So as well as being able to shoot 4K HDR video inside the regular camera app, one thing that is missing in this mode is the ability to shoot in the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. This function is only available in a separate app designed specifically with filmmakers in mind. The Cinema Pro app turns the Xperia 1 into what I can only describe as a proper cinema camera. If you're anything like me and you like to make videos, then this app is going to be in your most recently used list quite often. You get full manual video controls here and recordings are grouped into separate projects. Start a new project and you'll be asked to select your basic settings. Choose between 2K and 4K resolution and between 23.98 and 29.97 frames per second. Now I know that some people don't like to shoot at 24 frames per second because it can result in quite choppy movement if you pan the camera too fast. The trick is to use a 180 degree shot at angle and be very careful whilst you're panning. 24 frames per second will give your picture even more of a cinematic feel, so it is definitely worth using. You can also select your LUT or your lookup table that you would like to use on the project, some of which give you quite a flat picture, which is good if you want to color grade your image later on. My only criticism is that I wish there was a few more LUTs to choose from. Once you're happy with your project settings, then set your camera settings according to your lighting environment. You have the options to choose between three lenses as well as set the ISO, which ranges from 40 up to 800. ISO 40 is only selectable with the ultra wide angle lens and the telephoto. For the normal lens, the ISO starts at 64. ISO 800 doesn't really sound like much, but it was sufficient for me to get good clean images on pretty dark streets. You also get white balance and shutter angle. This has the same effect as the shutter speed, but it is referred to as shutter angle on video cameras. A higher number will let more light through but can result in motion blur, and a lower number will let less light through, but the result is a choppy picture, the kind of motion that you would see in action sequences in movies. Manual or autofocus is selectable here, and underneath there is the record button to the bottom right, and the grab button, which will just let you grab a screenshot at any time. The results that I'm getting from the Xperia 1 in this mode just make me want to shoot more and more video with it. So I put together a quick film about pretty much nothing at all really, but don't watch that. Just look at the images that you're getting from this and tell me that it doesn't have potential as a proper video camera.
If you're a filmmaker, a video guy, or someone who just likes to make their own home movies, then this phone comes very highly recommended. This is probably one of my favorite phones at the moment, but I have to stress that this is probably not for everyone. The battery life doesn't compare to other flagships, and although I do love the screen aspect ratio, I'm fairly certain that others will hate it. So before you splash that cash, try one out, get one in your hand, and see how you feel about it. But if you're a video guy like me, then there's no need, just get it. All right, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button. I've got lots more phone reviews and comparisons on the way. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at BTECT or add me on Snapchat at david.btect. Let me know what you think about the Xperia 1 in the comments below. Thanks for watching. My name's David and this is BTECT. It's, it's, it's Arch Badge B.